But kiddo, I want you to just take a look. The youngest new face in the U.S. Senate next year will be that of Democrat Joseph Biden of Delaware. I expect these fellows are going to uh, uh, eventually uh, judge me on my merit, not on my age. And uh, I have to establish that merit, assuming there is any there. I don't think it's going to be much of a problem. I, beyond uh, having other senator staffs think I'm applying for a job or as a page or something. Would you like to see some changes in the seniority system? <laughs> well, I would like to see some changes in the seniority system, but, uh, and it's not going to make any difference for my saying this, but it's not because I'm 30 and coming in. I, I think that the seniority system uh, has many more drawbacks and it has merits. Where I'm not going to lead any move to change that in my formative years in the Senate, but were there to be such a vote to come up, I clearly would vote to eliminate the seniority system. I get up in the morning and look at Jill and say, where the hell are we? So 51 years ago, Joe Biden was a 29-year-old Delaware uh, city councilman. Uh, he was so young that when he was elected, he was not even the age uh, that he could be sworn in. He didn't turn 30 until after that uh, election. And he was attacking his opponent, uh, Republican Senator Cale Boggs, over his age. Boggs was 63 at the time. Uh, now, we should note that's 17 years younger than Biden is today. That's more than 20 years younger uh, than Biden would be uh, in his second term. That's more than 20 years younger if he was reelected, if he runs for reelection. Uh, and what's interesting about this is Biden in that campaign, uh, he had some quotes where he said, In Cale Boggs' day when Stalin ruled, Americans had visions of Russian soldiers in our streets. In Joe Biden's day, Americans have visions of American criminals in our streets. Joe Biden, he understands what's happening today.